Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm really sorry if you can hear my family in the background. It is like Tuesday night, it is eight o'clock. Normally I don't film when they're home, but I can't contain myself because my lip jewelry crate magical year four came, a magical edition for Goblet of Fire arrived. I'm so excited and I'm gonna do an unboxing. Um, I don't do many unboxings anymore. So honestly, I don't get as much since I've been getting ready to go overseas. I've just been trying to cut back on my subscription boxes, but I always splurge for the magical edition because it's amazing and Goblet of Fire is one of my favorite movies and possibly one of my favorite books. One of my favorite books. So yeah, I'm going to unbox it with you guys now. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Oh, ooh. okay. First thing I see is magical edition crate. Oh, the International and Confederation of Wizards Quidditch Community Year 4. Also, oh, it's like the Tri-Wizard um, Tournament. I'm not going to look because it's a spoiler card and, you know, I don't want to be spoiled, so bye-bye. Oh, there's so many things I can see, but they're covering it quite well with the confetti. All right, I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to dig. Oh, there's socks. I love it. I love socks. Except I feel like we have a slightly quidditch, I'm just slightly quidditch. Slightly Gryffindor socks, just saying. Oh my god, can we talk about the fact that there are odd socks? Love it because I feel like Dumbledore always has odd socks on. Oh, one of them has broomsticks and the other one has snitches. I love that they're different. I love that they're odd socks. It's just so Harry Potter, so Dobby, so Dumbledore. Next! Oh. oh! Oh my god! What is it? Is it a pillowcase? Oh! I bet ya! My guess, because of number four, you probably can't hear me while I'm opening, is that it's probably going to be the mer person, but just a guess. Just a guess? Probably wrong. I don't even know what it is. Oh! Oh! Am I right or am I wrong? Oh my god, how big is it? Am I right? This is so cool. Oh my god, it's ginormous. I was right. I can't even hold it up because I'm sitting down. This is amazing. Oh, can you see it? <laughs> I can't see. It's like, you know, in the um, prefect's bathroom, how the mer person is like talking like waving at them i can't even hold it up to do it justice it is huge oh my god it's so beautiful i love the colors so vibrant she's much prettier than the girl in the window too she's kind of like elsa from frozen <laughs> that looks like have we got a harry potter box here love it very big save that for when i eventually move out save it for when i move out i've got nowhere to put it now <laughs> I spot. I spotted something. I spotted something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can we talk about the fact that it is a golden egg bath bomb? And how perfect is that? Because they have to put it in the water. Come take us where our voices sound. We cannot sing above the ground. And now long to look to recover what we took. Can you imagine if there was with a clue? Inside, there is a goddamn clue. We're just about to say, could you imagine if there was something in it? Oh my god. Oh! I'm going to use this tomorrow. I need to know what's inside. I'm so excited. They're just next level, these boxes. Like, they're literally next level. I think because they're such hardcore Harry Potter fans themselves. I take my hat off to you. Every time I get one of their boxes, I'm always blown away. Never underwhelmed. Never do I think, oh, that's not really very much. It's a candle and it's gillyweed and it's perfect. It's just so, they just do such a good job. Like well done for thinking to do this because everyone just loves how detailed these boxes are. It's a candle. Oh, that's very fresh. Garden herbs, green roots and wet earth. Grow girls swim under the water. It's very fresh, I was concerned. I never really pictured gillyweed to be nice, but it's a very fresh, nice, subtle smell. Next thing I see, <clears throat> there's still so much remaining and I can see an enamel pin and I'm getting excited, but I'm not going to look directly at it because I'm not up to it yet. 
I see like this little patch. I love this book so much. I just love it. Okay. It feels like a coin. I just love it. I just love it. It's just, you can't get this shit anywhere else, honestly. Oh, I feel like it is a coin. What is it? Let's pull it out. Oh my God. Oh, you get to pick what? Oh, this is so cool. So you know how they put their hands into the bag to pick what dragon they're going to have? You get a fucking coin to say that you got what one? I got Chinese fireball. Ooh. Love it. And it's like a really thick, weighty, like, it's not like some cheap pin, like it's actual metal. And, oh my God, I don't even think you can see the detail. Like, ridiculous. This is insane. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna grab that pin. I can see it and I want it. I love enamel pins, as you can see. Oh my god, what does it say? Oh, spew! <laughs> Society for the promotion of Elvis Papa! That's so cool! I've never really seen many. Oh, it's got Dobby on it. Can you see him? Oh, well, it's not Dobby, it's just a house elf, but I'm gonna say it's Dobby. Oh, and it's got a sock. It's got a little sock. I don't know if you can see it properly. Oh my god. Um. Oh my god. I love this because a lot of the spew badges aren't that pretty. If I'm going to be honest, I was thinking we might get a badge um for like Potter sucks and Cedric Rules or whatever. But I'm glad it's spew. Now what is this? Oh, it's like a sticky. Pop socket. So I'm assuming it's like something you just stick on your wall, which is pretty cool. The eye doesn't move. Although it kind of looks like it moves, which is a bit creepy. Anyway, that's really cool. Mad eye. Next, what is this? Ooh. Ooh, is this a book sleeve? Because I have 20,000 of these. I could certainly use another one though, let's be honest. I just saw something and I may die. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. I never want to ever use this though. It matches my nails. I don't know why I sniff it. It is such a beautiful. I came with this. I think it's a bookmark. I never want to use it, but also I'm going to use it immediately. Promotional code, love it. Excellent touch. This is absolutely beautiful. Sorry, I'm just so excited that I'm not even showing you. This is so soft and like, I love the extra compartment. Sometimes you want to take two books, but you don't want to shove them in the one hole. Sounds bad. This is gorgeous. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God. So beautiful. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, I thought it might have been one of the last things, but no, it's not. It's a fucking puzzle! What is the puzzle of? Oh! It's the maze! It's the maze! Oh my god. Oh, I love puzzles. I love puzzles and I love Harry Potter and this is just so good. This is like probably one of the biggest items. Which ironically it doesn't look big because it's not put together right now. But it is fucking big. I'm always blown away. I am never ever regretting. I'm going to buy every single one of these. The only one I missed out on was the first year one and I'm very sad, but every other one I've got. <gasps> Look at me just guessing shit right. Potter stinks. Oh, he does. <sighs> oh, what have we got? Oh, it's kind of like their, um, their Marauders posters, but it's cards, which I actually love even more. It's of all the Triwizard Champions. We got Victor. Ooh, you're looking good, baby. I never really liked Victor, I'm going to be honest. I was never really too much of a fan, but he looks good there. Oh, Harry, you look so handsome. Hello, Harry. I don't know if it's focusing because my eyes are so bad. 
And then we've got Fleur Delicot. Oh, Cedric, buddy, you look so handsome. So handsome. Look at that. Beautiful. I love that. And there's still so much more to go. Oh, what have we got? Oh, we've got a Death Eater sticker from Bookmark Tattoos. One of my first accounts that I followed here on Bookstagram. Is this a ticket? This is a fucking ticket. 422nd Quidditch World Cup. Oh my god. 25th of August 94. I was born on the 21st of February. This is so cool. Oh, I just love it. Sorry I'm being so quiet. I'm just in awe of how well done these boxes are. You get, honestly, like, how many items have we gone through? There's probably like 12 items. All amazing, all unique, and all just so perfect for that year. Oh, we've got some bookmarks. We've got Ron, Winky, is it Winky? I think it's Winky, and Rita Skita. Well done. Another amazing, another amazing box, guys. I will never ever have anything bad to say about your boxes. You honestly do yourselves every year, and every year, as soon as I see that these are on sale, I immediately have to go and buy them, even if I have no money, because I'm not missing out. I'm so excited as we go on. Number four is one of my favorites. I can't wait for number five, six, and seven, but I'm also very sad because there's not be none left, and I don't want it to be over. I love these boxes. Can you then do the Fantastic Beasts? Thank you very much. I love it. I think I lost my enamel pin. I don't know. That's my favourite thing. Definitely my favourite item is the enamel pin. And I seriously aren't. There it is. Definitely this. Also because that's like my favourite colour as well. Like an aquamarine like teal colour. Thanks for watching. Um, if I get any more unboxings or mail or shit, I'll open it for you. I just, yeah, I don't get as much anymore. Thank you so much, Live Joy Crate, for doing these amazing boxes. I will continue to buy them and be blown away. And thanks for watching.